Hey folks, this is me on my Suron Light BX Road Legal version 2024 with no limiter and bunch of other modes that I'll be sharing in my videos. Handlebar riser, check. Light switch, check. Better tail light location, check. Back support, check. Sprocket and chain, well, let's do it. I got DID chains without any ceiling rings. Also, this sick 54 tooth sprocket that I'll install a next video. Big thanks to PCBWay.com for making these videos possible. They offer design services with outstanding options and customer support. Just upload your file, choose from bunch of settings and get instant quote and lead time. It is that easy to bring your design into reality. PCBWay.com, first link in description below. Also got myself a chain loop. Let's start. If you're wondering about stock chain specs, here you go. Pitch is 420 and stock 48 foot sprockets needs 106 links long chain. This is stock chain with O-rings. One longer chain, this is 140 links chain will be for next video along with the new sprocket. And I will use this shorter 114 links chain for stock sprocket. But first, let's run the test. Fully charged battery on a nice sunny day with stock chain and sprocket to get some numbers. Please subscribe for more Suron videos. Surons display is going bananas. Max GPS speed is week 70 and Suron shows 79 km per hour. It took 14 seconds to reach 79 km per hour. Keep on mind that I am 185 cm tall and I weigh 87 kg. Oh yes, video about delimiting 2024 Surong will be uploaded as well, stay tuned. My bike is so fresh that I still have a cardboard stand. Let's find that joiner link. Here it is. Let me remove it and well, I'll try to not lose 4 rubber seals, 2 on this side and another 2 on the other side. Product links are in description below. Alright, here is DID racing chain, it's joiner link and chain itself. It is quite long, so I'll have to shorter it to 106 links to fit stock 48 foot sprocket. Next, I'll fish out the factory chain from jack shaft. Here, let me compare the two. Main reason I'm replacing chain is stiffness caused by rubber rings inside each link on factory chain. Hoping to achieve higher top speed and better range, with less friction on drivetrain. So much different between these two, I mean, come on. Also wait. Stock chain weighs 831 grams and new DID chain weighs 773 grams. That's 58 grams saved, hell yeah. Let's feed new chain on jack shaft and then on sprocket. If I count it right, it should fit just fine. Time to join the chain like so. I can't wait for results. Chain is on and next is to tighten it. Get 6mm Allen key on left side and 17mm socket on right side and loosen the nut. Unlock this 10mm nut on both sides and unscrew a bit this 10mm screw. Again on both sides equally. Tighten the nut. Then tighten locking nuts, check the chain tension, loop new chain Test spin it, yeah, always test spin it, and we can go for test run number 2. Same, fully charged, this time with no sunshine. Here is DID racing chain on stock 48 hood sprocket. Let's go.
This time it took only 11.1 seconds to reach 79 km per hour. That's 2.9 seconds faster than stock chain. Well, it's lighter and literally with no friction. Max GPS speed is EZ71, Suran displays 79 km per hour. I do wonder what it does for a range, maybe idea for next video. Also noise wise, it is slightly noisier but who really cares. All product links are in description below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.